hello everyone today in this video we are going to learn about the working of different ic okay here we deal about the working of 7400 7410 and 7420 ic but before that we need to understand uh, about this gate okay this type of gate is known as a end gate okay and if a and b is input y is output for this end gate if both input is low okay output will be low if both input is 0 1 1 0 1 1 these are the probability of input okay then we are going to get low and at one time only we are going to get high okay we can uh, remember this y is equal to a dot b a multiply b whenever you multiply a and b we are going to get output but what even if this circuit is changed with a small bubble okay so i want to explain here if this circuit is changed with the small bubble then this gate this one this one is a bubble okay this gate is called a nand gate then this output will be totally different than the other one zero 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 one one zero one one here one means high voltage and b means zero means low voltage okay potential difference uh, zero zero one zero one one here zero because the output will be totally opposite than the previous one because here is bubbled if uh, this gives zero then this zero is coming to this bubble not get then it becomes one so we can say that let us focus here in the nand gate okay in nand gate what even if any one of the input is zero output is high otherwise if both input high then only output will be low if any one if both input low then we are going to get obviously high output so this is the working of nand gate okay so let us see about the 7400 ic which is a which have a four different nand gate inside this this ic is not very complex because it have a uh, four different NAND gate inside it so before the working of this working with this IC we need to check whether the IC is correct or not because we are going to use this IC for several purposes uh, in our practical lab for MOX DMOX also we need this IC okay for MOX we need this for DMOX we need this too okay so what we can do is one two three four five six seven okay seven will be always ground and 14 will be always given plus vcc 5 volt okay uh here what even is that we need to check at first this nand gate is working or not after that this one after that this one and after that this one then only we can say that this ic is correctly uh, correct so we can use this ic in our practical so what even in our practical lab sometimes the ic will be damaged so we do not get our correct result i repeat we do not get a correct result for that case also so for that what we will do we will connect two wire from here after giving bcc and ground two wire over here and we are going to get give this three to multimeter okay and what we will do we will give both high at the time multimeter should so low and uh, whenever we give this both low multimeter should so high and if any one low then multimeter should so high okay this uh, truth table should be followed okay so this thing is uh, being checked over here same thing for the other same thing for the other and same thing for the other here we'll take output from 6 4 and 5 input output from 8 9 and 10 input output from 11 12 and 13 input you can check at this at first after that remove this wire to here check this one and remove check this remove and check this then only make sure that this ic is correct and you can use it in your practical lab same thing can be done for 7410 ic here we need to know that from where the output is being taken here we cannot take output from 3 here we need to give input from 1 2 and 13 and we can get output from 12 we need a four different wire uh, after giving bcc and ground okay same thing 14 for bcc 7 for ground so what we'll do we'll give both three input at zero output will be high from 12 okay uh, if both uh, if all um, three input are high then output will be low if any one input is low output will be high okay so this uh, truth table can be generalized for this term 
okay concept can be generalized and after checking this one this one and this one okay the numbering of ic is given in such a way that um, it is it goes from anti-clockwise direction and we have a small uh, this type of terminal in our ic okay so that it should be placed in left side and we can uh, place this ic in our breadboard and we can do our work properly okay so you uh, know this one okay uh, this one is two input nand gate three input nand gate and if we need a four input nand gate then um, this one uh, ic we need okay here there is only two nand gate in a single ic so um, what is this mm, uh, this is a nand gate so we need to check this nand gate here 3 and 11 is back end okay we don't give any wire to 3 and 11 after giving 14 to bcc 7 to ground we'll connect 1 2 and 4 and 5 of this ic with a wire and 6 will be given uh, output to multimeter so if you give all 4 um, to 0 okay low then outputs will be high if all 4 is given high then outputs will be low if any one is low output will be high okay give this low at first other high 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 at the all case you need to give a get a high output otherwise your ic is not working we cannot say ic not working but this compartment may not work this compartment may work okay so at that time which compartment you can take sometime in your project you need only one uh, four input nand gate so this one is not working this one is working so you need to take uh, this compartment okay don't take the down one you can use this for that purpose also same thing can be done it as output and 19 11 backend 12 and 13 can be taken as an input so um, before uh, concluding my uh, this video okay i want to talk a little bit about the breadboard okay then in our breadboard we have a small compartment at first for giving bcc and down small compartment for giving ground okay we can use anything bcc ground or we can give uh, direct voltage also okay there are two different compartment in middle okay this one is first this one is second so you need to place your ic over here so that its upper leg touches the first compartment and lower leg touches the down compartment this is the correct position of ic there is a small dot mark in the ic okay curve mark or dot mark in the ic so this curve mark should be faced um, in left side in our left side so mm, then what happened mm, then we can uh, place this ic and we can work by giving there are seven different leg 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 okay we go from anti clockwise direction same same thing we can write and we can conclude okay uh, after saying this much today we have learned about uh, 7400 7410 and 7420 ic and it's um, working mechanism of nand gate and gate uh, and gate nand gate and how to place this ic in our breadboard Okay, best of luck for your practical and thank you very much for watching this video. Please leave a comment below. Okay, I want to say goodbye now. Thank you.